Well, cats and bathwater, you'd think the two would never, ever mix. But in today's Ask the Vets, Dr. Danica Salomon has the best strategy to bathing a kitten. Hi, I'm Dr. Danica Salomon. We are here with Steve. Um, we've got Judy and Micah um, that are going to show you how to get Steve ready for a bath um, and then how to bathe him. So first you can see we're trimming his nails because we want to make sure that when he's in the bath, he doesn't scratch. Um, so we're just carefully trimming him. He just, he's a little feisty, um, but it doesn't hurt. We're trimming his nails, and then next we're going to comb any mats out of him. Um, and so we want to make sure that there are no mats in him when to get his fur wet, or those are going to be even harder to get out. So we're going to comb through him and make sure that everything is nice and smooth in his coat, and then we're going to get ready to start bathing him. Now, before you bathe, make sure you have what you need. Because once you get him wet, we got to go fast. So we've got towels ready, his soap ready, um, and then we've got a little cloth for washing his face. So we've got all that ready, and now you're going to see we're going to get him wet. Um, and so Mike is going to be putting him in the water. Now, if your cat is nice and um, all right, and so if he's if he is healthy and he is not stinky and smelly like Steve might be, he doesn't need a bath regularly. But when he does get bad odors on him, this is what you need to do. So Judy's going to lather him up. And we've got a nice soap-free shampoo. That's really important, especially for keeping his flea control on. We don't want to rinse that off. And see how he's really used to um, having that water down over him. If he wasn't used to it, you could use the, um, just that little um, measuring cup of water, and you can just gently pour it over him so they're going to rinse him that way. Now, notice they haven't gotten his head wet yet, so Judy's going to use a washcloth for his head. Um, and that's important so we don't get soap directly in his eyes. So she's just going to wet that. And she's just going to use that to gently wash his face. And so you can see Steve's a young kitten. He's really gotten used to having the baths. And so if you have a kitten, go ahead and get him started with this. Otherwise, most importantly, we want this to be fun and not too scary for him. So make it um, pleasant by toweling him gently. And then let's make sure we give him some treats when he comes out so we know um, that it's a good experience for him. It's pleasant. He remembers it. And put those down for him. Um, and so you can see that it doesn't have to be so scary as we think, but we, um, we just want to be prepared and we want to keep it pleasant for him. So Steve did a good job today. I'll say he did. He deserved that treat. I was more nervous than he was.